wanting to do in the beginning of the song? I think so. <laughs> I think so. My God, God, morning, people! Oh, yeah, that sax guy is totally feeling it. Kenny G? Kenny G wishes he were that sexy. But, but wait, isn't Kenny G, isn't he like clarinet or something? Or like piccolo? Does he play the saxophone? Thank you for the follow. How are you, my friend? Fuck it in. Is he saxophone? Did he choose sax? I always thought he was like oboe or clarinet or some other, some other woodwind thing. 
James 007. Oh, a thing is happening. It's just, <laughs> it's a saxophone, it's just shaped different. Is it like a tenor saxophone? Is it as a saxophone that you like straightened out? So it looks like, like a dry spaghetti noodle? Oh yeah! Magic the Beaver, how are you my friend? Welcome in! Hello, hello my friends! Good morning, good morning, good morning! Yes, yes, yes! I'm just here so I don't get fined. That's good. I'm always handing out fines. But how are you people? Welcome in! Happy! What's today? Uh, Thursday? Thursday! Thank you for the coffee. I very much need it. It is Thursday. It's, it's Friday Eve. Merry Friday Eve. Now what is everybody asking the Santa for Friday? I'm here for a, you're here for a backflip. You're gonna have to earn the backflip. I'm not some sort of monkey. I just, I don't, I don't just dance for you. The sweetest day will disappear. So, uh, we have a question going on uh, the Twitter. And I want to know everybody's response in chat. Uh, if you were to be sorted into a Hogwarts house, which Hogwarts house are you in? And what is your Patronus? I don't know. For Friday, I want more pumpkin spice pro More pumpkin products? There's too much. There's too much pumpkin products. You don't need, you don't need all of that pumpkin and everything. More pumpkin is too much. Never too much. We need to drink your pumpkin and, and, and eat your pumpkin and smell your pumpkin while looking at your pumpkins and touching pumpkins. It's just, oh man, it's too much. I'm a sleeping door. <laughs> My Patronus is a slob. That sleep sleeping door. You got your pumpkin hat. I ate a whole pumpkin because I didn't have enough. You ate the pumpkin? Like a, like an apple? Pumpkin spice marinara, pumpkin spice mashed potatoes, pumpkin spice Panera marinara for Darren Aronofsky. Slather pumpkin body butter on your hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> People are gonna be like, why do I wanna eat you? <laughs> because you can smell me. Pumpkin spice pumpkin. Has anyone actually ever bought a pumpkin and like cooked it? I've only ever bought a pumpkin, hollowed it out, made a jack-o'-lantern and then like cooked the seeds. I've never actually bought a pumpkin for the purpose of eating it. They are a pain? Do they not, do they not cook like a squash? I figured it would be like the same. It's why I refuse to make pumpkin pie for reals. Oh yeah, you just buy like the pumpkin pie filling in a can and just plap, 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 plap. Yeah, just like mom used to make, cause she didn't make them from scratch either. Done. Right? I mean, it can be like a squash. It can, right? Nah, frozen. Not even that much. <laughs> Like, I refuse to buy a graham cracker crust and spread pumpkin filling inside. I will get it frozen, set it on the counter for 30 minutes, and enjoy my pumpkin feast. Depends on how you squash. I mean, I don't I don't squash very often. I like like spaghetti squash or like roast squash, and like that's pretty much the extent of my squash adventures. And only squash like if they're they're on sale. Nope. Nope, can are already made. Just pop it in the oven, home warmed pie, and you're done. Kumquats? What in the world? What are you doing with kumquats? Squash is funny to say. Oh, it's fun to say. Kumquat. Squash. And kumquat. That's pretty good. I have a turkey to smoke. I don't have time for pie. Whoa. See, this is all anyone eats. Squash all over. Squashing, squashing kumquats. That'd be, uh, that's my favorite song by Smashing Pumpkins. Don't squash your kumquats. Don't, don't, don't sit on them. Make sure you're not sitting on your kumquats. You don't need them. You don't need them mushed. Or at least steam them first so they, they mush easily. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, national celebration stuff today that uh, I looked up before the stream. Today is National uh, Pasta Day. Ah. What's your favorite pasta dish? 
Who likes traditional spaghetti? Who likes macaroni and cheese? Who likes some ravioli? Who likes some bucatini? Who likes elbow pasta? Oh, who likes angel hair pasta? Which is like diet spaghetti. Mmm. Who likes red sauce? Who likes Alfredo sauce? Lasagna, ravioli, mac and cheese, in that order. Oh, but angel hair is good too, right? Yes, the angel hair diet spaghetti. It's, you know, half the calories. Angel hair is reluctant to say on my fork. True, angel hair is, it's very, it's elusive pasta. I think like pasta is one of the most embarrassing things to eat in public. <laughs> I feel like it never goes well. When you go out to eat with lunch somebody with somebody, I have a rule. I can't order pasta if it's like a business lunch, right? I can't order pasta and I can't order salad. <laughs> Those are always really awkward things to eat in front of other people. Now, most embarrassing to, thing to eat in public is a turd. <laughs> Why would you eat a turd? Oh yeah, I have a limited amount of things I can order that don't end up on my face. True, because Beaver has like that huge beard, so it magnifies the messy eating by like 10,000. Salad, have you ever tried like, you try to get everything on the fork and nothing's really staying and then all the, the pieces of the lettuce are different shapes and you're trying to get them all into your mouth cleanly and they end up like rubbing up against your lips and all that kind of crap and it is not, it is not an easy thing to eat. My hubs had that problem, having to move the mustache to eat a sandwich. It's all for fashion, Jocosity. It's for fashion. Except your favorite salad, except for a niçoise salad. Well, you should always eat a niçoise salad in private. I got a big mouth, so it goes <laughs> right in. You're like, ah! <laughs> you have to make that noise, too, or your mouth doesn't get wide enough. because it grows on your face and we love it, right? Crying in the closet, eating a salad, sounds like my Saturday night. <laughs> All right, honey, I'll be back in 30. It's time for my Niswa cry. <laughs> oh, it's so delicious. All right? Like, don't come in here. This is you. This is the motion of you closing the door. <laughs> don't come in here. Salad dressing just dripping from my face. Oh yeah. It's, it's messy. You ever wanted to like make a salad and then just like pick up the bowl and just eat it like a pig eating stuff out of the trough? I've never done it. I just thought about that now. And now I kind of want to do it. You know, I'll be like, forget silverware. Just throw everything into a bowl. <laughs> and here we go. No? No one's ever done that? It's like eating an orange in the shower, which Daisy loves. Hello, Daisy. Daisy loves eating oranges in the shower. Or straight from the carton. A, a carton of salad? I would never trust a carton of salad. What? Beard catches dressing for us, and the dressing hydrates and moisturizes our lovely beards. There you go. But it has to be like a, a balsamic vinaigrette. I mean, it's one in the fast food. I mean, it's one in a fast food place. The, the carton of the carton of salad. Oh, ooh, Olive Garden, unlimited breadsticks and 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 soup. Hey, I I have a question. Is can cereal be considered a soup? Or like, is oatmeal a soup? It's just like a thick soup. Like you have porridge and then you have like oatmeal. But they say oatmeal is a cereal but is it not a soup? I mean, I will. I will write a novel. Do I'm, I'm, I'm working on that New York Times bestseller. A liquid dish typically made by boiling meat, fish, or vegetables, etc., in stock or water. So you're telling me no, cereal cannot be a soup? So, no. Oh. I'm sorry, cereal, you're just some sort of... Okay, follow-up question. Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? You got bread. You got meat. You do boil oatmeal. No, but a hot dog in a bun is. Okay. So hot dog in bun sandwich. Hot dog bun. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't just eat a handful of deli ham and be like, that was a great sandwich. But if it's in a bun, it's
it's a sandwich, right? Yeah, subs are definitely sandwiches, and sandwiches are sandwiches. But hot dogs? Mm. If I fold a slice of pizza in half, is that a sandwich? You have, you have bread on both sides, right? If a hot dog is a sub, it's a sandwich. That's like calling a corn dog a sandwich. I mean, can it be? I'm not, I'm not awake enough for all these tough questions. No, you were just eating pizza correctly. <laughs> Touche. Is, are people in, in chat, are you pro triangle or square pizza? But which, which one do you prefer? Triangles or squares? I don't care, honestly. The, the older I get, the more I'm pro square. I'm originally from St. Louis, so square. I didn't know so square was a St. Louis thing. I'm learning. I cut, uh, I cut it all effed up to irritate my kids. Does anybody in chat, do you, how do you just like, when you make a pizza at home and then you just run the, <laughs> run the, the wheel and just random, <laughs> random order? That would be pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> I used to, what, Miss, hi Miss Ultimate Cannon, how are you? Good morning. When you said a circle, it reminded me of, of, of brownies growing up. If there was a pan of brownies, I would always cut a circle out of the center because it would grow, it would drive everybody crazy. Like, why did you cut a circle out of the center of the pan of brownies? God damn it. But, oh, yeah, cutting, cutting pizza and randomly, I like that idea. I've always said, you know how everywhere promotes New York style or Chicago style pizza, but do you see St. Louis style offered? No, because it is gross. Whoa, wait, what? What is, wait, hold on. What is St. Louis style pizza? What, 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 did I miss it? I am from New York, so pizza can only be one way to be correct. I, true, it's like Tipsy's from Maryland and he goes, crab cakes can only be made one way. And nine times out of 10, if you're not in the state of Maryland and they say they have Maryland style crab cakes, it's a lie. Hey, Axie Dub, how are you, my friend? Also, hello, Level Orpheus, I saw you come in. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning. A Subway sandwich. Wait, hold on, you say frozen. Why do you deprive yourself of brownie edges? I mean, it was just more to drive people crazy. I do love brownie edges now, but like growing up, I was all about, you know, the no edges. You wanted all the soft. Well, now I'm like, give me that corner piece. I'm looking for the corners. Ooh, toasted ravioli. So it's super thin and the cheese sticks to your teeth. So is that where flat, like flat bread or flat crust pizza came from? Is that, is that a St. Louis thing? All good, good to hear. Oh, thank you for the host. St. Louis style is super cardboard thin. Oh, I didn't know about that. I'm okay with thin, but cheese sticking to your teeth seems wrong. Very thin crust, cut in squares, and they use Provel cheese, which is a cheese blend. Oh, is it like a three cheese blend? Or is Provel a type of cheese? Like what is the, what's in that blend there? Like mozzarella, cheddar, and provolone or something? You hear about the cheese. You hear about the cheese at Pizza Hut at Pizza? I have seen, well, I saw it in passing. I'm not really sure I understand what they're doing. Are they making crust out of Cheez-Its? Is that the deal? Sometimes thin crust can get a better ratio of crust flavor to cheese, sauce cheese, and topping flavor. Oh. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of thin crust pizza. I like it. I really have to be hungry to want deep dish. I just can't stand it. Uh, in my opinion, is the only wait, Emos, or is that the name of a, <laughs> is that the name of a place? Emos is the only is only in that area for a reason, I think. Emos, yes. Same reason why no other city outside of Chicago offers more. <laughs> no, my lord, god damn it! Sometimes areas lose their minds, and no one wants it. No one wants my lord. Nobody. Oh, chicken wings. Why are hot wings always so goddamn small? I want hot wings that are regular size. There is a place around the corner from Tipsy that, I don't know, they must be like ostrich wings. Because when they give you wings, they're freaking huge. Breaded chicken wings are clearly a, a burrito. Yeah, are you for, do you like breaded wings or non-breaded? Like what, what's your favorite sauce to put on top of wings? Breaded? 
You're pro, pro bread. And do you like the drummies or do you like the, the wings? The little like flats. Drummies or flats? No breaded. Yeah, I'm pro drummy. Yeah, but it's considered processed because it's a mix of multiple cheeses, but it melts perfectly. It just melts perfectly. Oh yeah. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. I'm totally pro flats. I mean, I'm pro drummies. Flats are okay, but I don't like the bone on the either sides. So wait, is a cheese stick a burrito? Or a chimichanga? Or a flauta? But Chikasi, see if you have any Louis, if you have any, let's see, if you have any Luisa sold in your local store, oh, pretty good. t rafts Less bone, the better, to be honest. Yeah, I like just the one bone in the center. Right? Because it's fried, wouldn't it make it a chimichanga? Is it a cheese stick? Oh, like a mozzarella stick. I was thinking like a, like a peel, like a easy cheese. Not easy cheese. The, the peel cheese. Uh, I live in Chicago now. I haven't even toasted ravioli, but I haven't looked at the grocery store. I mean, toasted ravioli, really, you just have to buy some ravioli and bread it, right? And then maybe like pan fry it. Is that toasted? Is that what toasted ravioli? Or bake it? Yeah, you could bake it. I've made my own at home. That turned out good. A homemade pasta? Oh! Mm, now I'm hungry. Now I want red balls. Yeah, but in St. Louis, it's from there. And good barbecue ribs. I am a big fan of barbecue. Like honey barbecue wings with blue cheese dressing. Oh, yeah. Something about the honey barbecue and the blue cheese is a good mix. I live in Texas now, so I'm all about smoking now. I hope you mean by smoking. You're just like, I picked up, I, I'm smoking like three packs a day. I'm all about, I'm all about smoking. <laughs> I had to pick it up. Now I'm a Marlboro man. <laughs> three packs a day. We just failed at pizza, but I always knew I shared that sentiment alone. I, I'm not very good. 20 brown biscuits. <laughs> yeah, it's, I've never made homemade pizza. And there's like cauliflower pizza and like all that kind of stuff. Uh, today is also National Chocolate Cupcake Day. Whoa. Chocolate cupcakes. What's your favorite kind of cupcake? I always like the, the Funfetti. Funfetti cake or, or cupcakes. Oh my God, Funfetti. Not a fan of cupcakes. You like regular cakes. You don't like little tiny personal cakes or cake in general. Oh, are you a pie guy? You like making some pies? Ooh, what's your favorite kind of pie? Pies are, I like making pies, but they're a lot of work. I don't like, I'm not a big fan of buying store-bought pies. If I'm gonna make a pie, if I want pie, I need to make it. I almost typed a bad joke. I like, <laughs> I like the small cupcakes. They're easier to eat. Remember when like, it was like 10 years ago, like those giant cupcakes? Everybody was selling cupcakes. Like there was a cupcake store on like every corner. Everybody was getting to the cupcake game. Now I feel like there aren't any cupcake stores. I feel like none of those, none of those lasted. But actually cobbler is my favorite. Whoa. I like apple cheddar. You buy like, like a sharp white cheddar cheese, like Dubliner cheese, and you grate it and you put it right into the crust. Apple chowder, yeah. And then you get clams and carrots, well, mirepoix, so carrots, celery, and onions, <laughs> some apples, some sugar, <laughs> mix it all together. Oh my God, clams and apples, so good. But no, you like grate the cheddar and you, you, you bake it right into the crust. And then you just make a regular like apple pie. Apple cheddar or pear gruyere cheese is really good. Or if you, if you make um, a pie out of Concord grapes, Concord grapes are only in season for like, uh, I think like six weeks, six or eight weeks. And they're the type of grapes where you, if you eat grape candy and you're like, where the hell does this taste come from? It's Concord grapes. And if you make a pie out of those, it's just, it's like you're eating wine. We call it wine pie. It's really good. Oh yeah, the crumbling topping. Oh, the crumbling topping on the cobblers. Oh yeah. Put that on some pancakes in the morning. Oh. I will put the crumb there, the, the, those little crumbles on anything. Or you can just put wine in the freezer, <laughs> in the freezer to eat. Would it freeze? 
Does wine freeze? Is the alcohol content low enough that it freezes? I've never tried, me neither. Someone froze wine for me once. Oh. Do they have to mix it with anything? Wine plus some Knox gelatin? You doing some wine shots? Waffles, pancakes, and French toast though? Oh yeah. Those are definitely all sandwiches. <laughs> you put some stuff in between them. <laughs> sandwiches. I ate it with a spoon. Ooh, I can put my wine in the freezer and let you know tonight. Okay. Let's see. Let's do, let's do an, run an experiment and see. I'm wondering if they if they mixed it with something. With, did they make it into like uh, like freezer pops? Is that what they were doing, or how did they how did they present it to you? Oh yeah. Hey, hold on. What's going on? It sounds fine here, but Dumple Ping was in the bathroom. I'd understand. It's all about that efficiency. Do I sound? Do I sound like I'm in a? I mean, if, this is my bathroom sound. Now I'm in the bathroom, right? Now I have that bathroom <laughs> echo sound. But now I shouldn't be in the bathroom. Listen, nothing can be sandwiched without pumpkin spice spam. No! Get out of here with pumpkin spice spam. Get out of here. Has anyone tried it yet? Like for real? Is that where chocolate, chocolate cupcakes come from? from pumpkin spam. <laughs> and lastly, but not leastly, Beaver, you might not want to look at this one. It is National Shave Your Beard Day. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're offended by this. It's like $30 a can on Amazon. For pumpkin spice spam is $30 a can? What the poop? Four pack is $100? What in the world? For spam? It should be like no more than five bucks a can. What are they going for? My God, how many people are buying that thing? There's no way. And I know I haven't seen it in the store. Like I've, I've looked at my local stores to see if they would have uh, pumpkin spice stuff. Oh, $30 a can. Oh, it's just too much. I'm not gonna try it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not investing thirty dollars to try <laughs> to try it. But that's a mer <laughs> America. Ugh. That's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, we grew up not well off, so spam and peas was a common meal, like beans and hammocks. Never uh, a hammocks. Never again. <laughs> beans and hammocks. <laughs> we just ate what you sleep in. Uh, I, I get a sponsored video to, let's get a sponsored video to try it. Ooh, yeah. Slice up span thin, pan fry it, yum. I've talked about that before, but there was, has anyone here had Scrapple? Scrapple is like the, the sausage version of spam. Uh, I was always thankful my mom hated spam, cause yeah, that was in and out, in out income bracket. Oh, in your, in your in, got it, in your uh, income bracket. Yeah, we never had spam growing up. That was not something that I never tried. Uh, beans and hammock. Hammocks is a great day at the Greek beach. <laughs> I don't know why that was removed by Catbot. <laughs> that was really weird. Toss a pan fried spam on some rice and that's tasty. Oh, Sasha spam. It is. If you look up Scrapple. S-C-R-A-P-P-L-E, Scrapple. Yeah. Mac and cheese with spam can be good. I've never really like explored spam as like a, as a cuisine, but I can see it being good on multiple things. I can see like 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 an eggs Benedict made with spam not being that bad, or you know like a an egg an egg cheese sandwich made with spam, not that bad. Yeah, spam is very popular in Hawaii. Ex explored spam is a fun statement. Lots of possibilities. Explored spam. Listen, spam is just the greatest meat ever created. Wait, what? It is the, it is the greatest meat ever processed. <laughs> it's, it, is, it is the best non-natural man-made meat. Oh, that sounds gross. It's a man-made meat. 
Ooh, spam wontons. Is that just like cream cheese and spam? I had Iron Chef Spam Edition as a teenager. That's pretty crazy. Oh my God, that sounds good. <laughs> if you're going to experiment with Spam, pan fry and pair with stuff that could, <laughs> yeah. Basically you want to pair it with anything that really needs some salt because Spam will, it's like, a, it's like putting a, a, a malleable salt lick in your mouth. It's like chopped up vegetables and stuff too. Mmm, salt jelly. Is that a thing? I've never had salt jelly before. That is what it's packed in. Oh. Did you miss the duel? No, we haven't recorded the duel yet. No, no duel recording yet. But we should we'll transition over to there because we are. There's been a fun conversation this morning. A nerd! Damn it, Daisy only comes in for the duels anymore. <laughs> She's just here for the duel. That's all I am to her anymore. I'm just a duel. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just a prop. All right, Timmy, let's lower down that music. All right. So, uh, we do have... I am the champion. We are the champions, my friends. Then she goes off to her two-minute phone meeting. <laughs> then she goes off for two minute phone meetings hello hi is it still down yeah i'm still daisy good thing we checked in all right have a good day bye and that's uh that's daisy's meetings all right uh so we do have a a, a duel to record today i do have daisy's response she posted it last night if you missed it um i will play it for you right now here we go Boop. oh <laughs> you asked me a question <laughs> What was your question? Here is my question for you. When riding in an automobile, would you rather have hmm. uncontrollable gas huh? or, 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 upon reaching the destination, you always projectile vomit? I have such a clicky voice. I need to know oh. your, your answer by tonight, midnight, hmm. Eastern time, in video form. And I will hmm. see you next time on the, the, the Double Door! <laughs> Oh crap! <laughs> yes. Oh crap! Projectile vomit. Mmm. My question to you, Dumpleping. Uh huh. Is Harry Potter a Halloween movie uh -huh. or Christmas movie? Mmm. 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 <laughs> My, my favorite is the awkward, hmm, and then cut off. <laughs> cut off mid, hmm. <laughs> the last one got me. Uh, so we have a response for her today. Hmm. <laughs> that wizard is stirring with a pretzel stick. Oh, that does look like a gourmet pretzel stick. I do love me a gourmet pretzel stick. Pretzels. Delicious. So her question to me was, was is, is it a... Uh, a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. And then, uh, oh, Dagnabbit, you just put a song in my head. I'm so sorry. Nearly as chilling as the Chamberlain from Dark Crystal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that, uh, Chamberlain from the Dark Crystal in there. Um, and then I do have a question for her. My question for her today was gonna be how much jam could a jammer jam if a jammer could jam jam? Uh, I was going to be, it's like, everyone knows, everyone's familiar with the question, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? But what I need to know is how much jam could a jammer jam if a jammer could jam jam? Uh, so, give her a mind-bending riddle. I have a little, like, black freckle on my back. Hey, Timmy, can you get that off my back? I need to look beautiful for these things. I'm growing a mole! Hold on, let me go to the dermatologist really quick and get that taken off. I got it. I got it removed. You're getting age spots out there, you. I am young and youthful. Could be, could be, could be a raisin. Okay, so we're gonna re re record our response to her um, and a new question, and hopefully, more like guac guacamole. It makes me think of that uh, that scene from Austin Powers with Fred Savage, where he's like, "Mole, mole, 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 mole," and he just has a giant mole on his face. <laughs> that scene is so rude. <laughs> Looking back. Or poor Fred Savage. 
All right, so I have a response ready for her, and we'll get the question. Hopefully, I can get this all back in, uh, yeah, uh, I know that one reference. Good old Robin Hood men in tights. I have a mole. <laughs> Wasn't your mole on the other side of your face? I have a mole. <laughs> Robin Hood and Men in Tights. I'm telling you, that to me, that is the one Mel Brooks movie that was made to be a musical and hasn't been made into a musical yet. I need Robin Hood and Men in Tights the musical. I mean, come on, Mel Brooks. You probably only have a good, like, five years left in you. Get on it. And tight, tight, tights. We roam around the forest looking for fights. We may look like pansies. Oh, yeah. I think now people would be offended. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't hold up. I mean, I won't be offended. I just I want to see it happen. I mean, Book of Mormon. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. It doesn't touch Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon was a hot ticket. Oh, my God. All right, so let's cut into, um, I'm going to kill the chat. You guys are dead to me now. Bye-bye. And uh, we're going to hop into Dumbledore, and I'm going to see if I can get this in one take. And uh, we will see how this goes. I'm going to run the intro. Here we go. See if we can get this in one take. There we go. Oh, hello there, Daisy Days. It looks like you made it to round 16 of da 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 <laughs> Now, before I ask you a new question, I must answer yours. And you asked me, is Harry Potter a Halloween movie or, or a Christmas movie? Ah! <laughs> you fool! You think that Harry Potter is a Halloween movie? They focus on Christmas every single movie! And they have the, the snow that's falling down, and they have the floating candles, and the big feast, and all that kind of stuff. And in fact, why don't we just call in an expert, and he will back up what, what I say. Hey, Mr. Sorting Hat, is this a Christmas movie collection or a Halloween movie collection? It's... It's... Christmas! Well, there you have it. It is definitely a Christmas movie collection. And now, Daisy Days, here is my question for you. Everyone knows that a, a how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. But what I need to know is how much jam could a jammer jam if a, if a jammer could jam jam. And I need your answer by tonight, midnight, Eastern time, in video form. And I will see you next time on Da 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 <laughs> You know, I've never officially been sorted, like, into a Hogwarts house, but I've always considered myself a very proud Slytherin. You're Hufflepuff! Wait, what? I'm Hufflepuff? Well, at least I know that, like, my Patronus is something majestic. It's like, like a Norwal or, you know, like a dragon or something. It's... It's... A fruit fly! <laughs> what? It's a fruit fly? What the f My Patronus is a fruit fly? You have one day to live. My Patronus is going to be dead in 24 hours, and then I'm just Patronusless. Oh, my God. A fruit. There's my, there's my Patronus. Look out. Here comes the fruit fly. Oh, my God. A freaking fruit fly? God damn it. God damn it. There, there it is again, but be careful, because now it's dead. Oh, there it, there it is again. Mine is the chicken from Moana. That's a good one. Gotta love the chicken from Moana. Oh, my God. Well, I learned, I learned a lot about myself today. 
All right, so now we're going to kick things over to uh, Snickle Fritz, who has some uh, advice for us today. Um, again, if you guys want some advice from Snickle Fritz, there is a section in the Discord for Snickle Says, and you can certainly uh, submit your questions there, and Snickle Fritz will get back to you uh, with his wonderful advice. But let's see what we have today for some expert advice from our good friend, Snickle Fritz. I will see you guys on the other side. Hey there, Snickle, what do you say? I need your advice in a real big way. Love, work, and the every day. Let's all find out what Snickle has to say. It's time for Snickle Says. His advice is so hot, you might need to take your shirt off. Yeah! Hello there, all you beautiful people, and welcome to Snickle Says, the hottest advice on the internet. Today we have a question from a first-time, first-time caller, Mr. Adjective Beaver. And Adjective Beaver says, Hi, Snickle. I have a three-day-old head of lettuce, seven miscellaneous hot sauce packets from Taco Bell, an assortment of cotton balls, uh, pencil shavings, and an overdue library book, and three used shoes. I was thinking of crafting a veggie golem, but before I do, I'm curious. Do you have any other ideas for what I could use this assortment of goodies for? Yes. Yes, I do, Beaver. And I hope you're listening very intently because I know exactly what you need to do. You need to collect all those things and throw them into the trash. What are you doing with all of those things, Beaver? I've been meaning to talk to you about your hoarding problem. There's way, way too many things in your house, and not everything needs to be upcycled into something else. Sometimes things just need to be thrown away. Or better yet, you have that, fit, that pit fire in the back. Why don't you throw it all in there and burn it and do one of your lovely live streams of you sitting by the fire. On a second thought, save those miscellaneous hot sauce packets from Taco Bell because um, I think I'm going to get some tacos for lunch. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time on Snickle Fizz! Hey there, Snickle, what do you say? I need your advice in a real big way. Love, work, and the every day. We all heard what Snickle had to say. You heard what he said, and his advice was so hot, he made a volcano feel like an igloo. Yeah! All right! Wonderful, wonderful advice from Mr. Snicklefritz. And welcome back, people. We're now going to wrap up the show by looking at the gifts you guys have sent in. Remember, this theme for this week is classic Hollywood monsters. And today, we are on ghosts and ghouls. And I had some people send in some goblins, so I'm doing, gonna do ghosts, goblins, and ghouls. Um, so we will have that to show to you guys. And also, hello, Captain Iraq. How are you, my friend? Welcome in. Oh, no. Goblins. And then tomorrow, to wrap up our Hollywood monsters, is going to be zombies. So if you guys have some wonderful gifts of zombies, or later on you're bored at work, send Tipsy the gifts of the zombies in the Discord as a private message so that no one else can see them. He will collect them, throw them into a folder, and we will share them here like we always do. So what do you say we get into some ghost ghouls and zombies? I'm not ghost ghouls and and, and goblins, that's the, that's the word I'm looking for. All right, here we go. Let's see what our first one is for today. I'm sending in gifts of brains. Hey, that works. Oh. There's some, there's some goblins. I feel like this is, a, this is just a group of my relatives. This is just a family photo. Hey, the other gamesman, how are you, my friend? Welcome, good morning, good morning. Look at all this. Look at that, that one brown one looks like a worm of some sort. That's old school Ghostbusters cartoon. Yeah, it is. Remember those old school Ghostbusters? Those were good. The guy who did the voice of Heathcliff was like the voice of Peter Venkman or whatever. But this is this is a good cartoon. I enjoyed some Ghostbusters. What else do we have? Whoa. This is what happens when you sleep. Your eyeballs. Your eyeballs just escape your body and possess and go look around and go into dreamland. A uh, big Ghostbusters fan and collect the toys. Has anybody played the, the remastered Ghostbusters that came out? I haven't seen I thought that one was going to be one that popped on, on Mixer as, uh, as at least for like a couple days, and I didn't really see anybody playing it. Did anybody pick up a copy? 
Let's see what that looked like. I played OG version. Yeah, I played the OG version. And I'm wondering, like, I did see, I think I saw one person playing it, and I wish that they had uh, added character customization for the person that you are, instead of just having that generic white dude. It would have been cool if you had the option to customize them a little bit to make it look more like the player, or whatever you wanted. Oh, gross. <laughs> gross. What the poop's going on here? This is, oh, this is Ghost Rider? Yeah, boo, generic white dudes, right? It's always a generic white dude in like every game. But like, ugh. this one, I, I never saw Ghost Rider. I look like, it looks like she's simultaneously like angry, but also looks like she's about to laugh at the same time. Classic PBS. I never saw Ghost Rider. It's definitely a show that I knew about, but I never saw. Is that the one that, what was the one that had the dog? Was that Ghost Rider? Samuel L. Jackson, one of his first gigs was Ghost Rider? Kind of like Morgan Freeman's was the electric company. Oh, Wishbone, that's, that, that's one I, I didn't actually see that much PBS growing up, no, no, I think about it. Yeah, he was one of the kids' dads. Oh, oh my God. And look how far he's come. Uh, ghost, ghost fart. This must be the silent but deadlies. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why the ghost is farting, or what would be constitute a ghost fart. But uh, in case you're ever wondering, I guess ghosts do pass gas. Oh, this looks like more. Is this more Ghostbusters? Ghost fart is the one that remains unclaimed. <laughs> Ghost Fart is my favorite song by Dashboard Confessional. It was a, uh, a B-side cut. Ghost Fart. But uh, look at this. I like the, uh, I think this is more Ghostbusters. But I love the repeat animation. <laughs> All of them just look, look exactly the same. More like a B-side rip. I see what you did there. Gotta save that money. <laughs> yep. Save that money. It's like it's like when you go back and you watch um, the the Ninja Turtles cartoons. Like sometimes it was just the wrong voice coming out of the wrong turtle. They're they're they'd be wearing the wrong colored mask, or they'd all be wearing red masks in a shot. And you'd be like, what was what was that about? How did that make it past the editing room? Ghost fart, belly button. Ghost fart. Ghost fart. Ghost fart. Hot sauce plus best. Ghost fart. Ghost fart. Belly button. I thought this one was pretty clever <laughs> for Ghost. You guys remember that good old Patrick Swayze, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Demi Moore movie? Good old, good old Ghost. Oh, that is a good one, right? I thought that one was pretty damn good. Don't talk, let me soak this in. I'll, uh, I'll send you this gif in, uh, in a private message after the show. <laughs> If this is something you need in your life, perfect. This is not safe for Mixer. Hey! <laughs> Except they're terrible at throwing clay. Really, I've never, I've never like, yeah, what are they even making here? <laughs> are they making a clay candlestick? Like, <laughs> what, are they, what are they doing? It's like, <laughs> they clearly don't have no idea what they're doing. Like, just, just hold her hands all sexy-like. Oh, here's uh, it's Captain E-Rock for Halloween. I'm Dumblepig. <laughs> this is him. This is him going, this is Dumblepig. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, a, ca a candlestick. Yeah, they're making a, ca a, a candlestick, you know. But yeah, here's, here's Captain E-Rock get, getting ready for the, getting ready for the holiday season. Like, welcome to my stream. Today we're playing Destiny 2. And maybe a little visage. Uh, here we have. Oh. What's going on here? This looks like it's from a video game, but I can't figure out. I'm trying to place which video game this might be from. I can't quite place it. That looks pretty gruesome. Just rip, rip it out there just like taffy. Nom noms. 
Gotta love the nom noms. Oh! <laughs> Gotta love some ghostly ping pong. That's what they're doing when I'm not there. You guys like playing ping pong? I like ping pong, but I never find a lot of uh, situations where ping pong <laughs> enters my life. But I do like I do like a good round of ping pong. Used to play in high school. Were you competitive? Were you a competitive ping pong player? I don't think I've played since then. Oh. I enjoy ping pong, but often find myself alone. So <laughs> it's a short game. We're well, supposed to fold up the table. <laughs> One side of it, Beaver. And then it's like, and then ping pong's like twice as fast. And, <laughs> and really goddamn hard. <laughs> like every half second, the ball's coming back to you. But apparently, that's how you're supposed to play it. My cats love ping pong balls. Oh. And they can bop that baby right back. Bop, 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 bop. Gotta love that. Oh, here's Green Goblin. But not some ghost farts. Apparently knocks Spider-Man right out. Such a weird, a weird power. Thank you, Whisper. Such a weird, weird power. Like, I'm just gonna put some sleeper gas in my wrists. <laughs> like, what? Like, what is going on right now? Very odd. Looks like one of those old Japanese mech live actions. Oh, yeah, it does. Looks like, like VR troopers or something is going on in here. Maybe some uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh! Gotta love some Beetlejuice. juice. Love me some Beetlejuice. This is a great movie. Look how thin and, and young Alec Baldwin is. Like, oh. This one is definitely, definitely a classic. A few more to go through. Oh, we have a Pac-Man ghost. Pac-Man is never a game that I never really got into. There's some hardcore Pac-Man people out there. And I never really got into grabbing little butt dots, eating fruit, eating ghosts. It was always like, okay. But there are some hardcore. Is anyone here like a, a big Pac-Man fan? Like, oh yeah, give me that Pac-Man in my life. Oh, here's the Goblin King. I think, just, <laughs> I think he's kicking somebody. And he goes, kick, bye-bye. But that's the power of the babe. I love my baby. <laughs> Hashtag that bulge though. Uh, the voodoo, who do you do what? I'm me of the babe, I'm lit my baby. Well, about us, babe, get back. I don't know the words. What can I do? <laughs> Many times I've seen that movie, <laughs> I've never really paid attention to the words that he's saying. Oh, oh. Oh, this is from, um. What was that movie? Uh, the Cabin in the Woods, right? This is the Tooth Fairy. House in the Woods. Yeah, Cabin in the Woods. This is the Tooth Fairy. Slap that baby. <laughs> Slap that baby. Make it pee. <laughs> Don't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah, Cabin in the Woods. That was a sleeper movie. I walked into that movie not knowing anything about it. And it like, my expectations were so low that it just blew, it blew me away. I was like, whoa, what? And the ending of it was so good. Like the mermaid thing and like all that stuff. Like, oh my God. I think they released it around the same time as Thor. So I was like, oh, Chris Hemsworth is in this really weird, following up Thor, he's in this weird haunting movie. Like, okay. And then it just completely blew me away. Yeah, when all the doors open and all the nightmares are getting out. And isn't that, what was that? That one guy, he gets like killed by a, a, a mermaid or something. He's like joking about mermaids the whole time or something like that. But that, that whole movie took me, that whole movie took me by surprise. I need to watch that one again. I don't think I've seen it since I watched it in theaters. Starts off one way, it ends up in a totally different direction. Those are my favorite kind of movies. Like, I'm not the, the biggest Seth Rogen fan in the world, but Pineapple Express, when it, when it starts picking up in like the third act, I was like, whoa, what in the world is this? <laughs> it's a BR movie, it starts off slow, and all the action is in the last five minutes. Oh, this is good old Casper. 
Then I got Christina Ricci. From this, from what I understand, this was a really expensive movie to make because they were making it in the same style as Roger Rabbit. Sausage Party? Don't ever watch that movie. I made it five minutes into Sausage Party, and I went, no, this is this is not for me. I see what you are, and you're not for me, so I'm just going to put that away. Is that the same way, Sausage Party, the last five minutes? Is a giant food orgy? Eh. Okay. Thanks for that. At least now I know. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I, I don't think I'm going to look that one up. And here we go. Here's our last GIF of the day. Are you ready to record? What? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh. That's a nice... A nice spook. That's a good effect. Dutch's Party trailers looked awful. Yeah, not even the, the trailer made me want to get in there and take a look at it. I was just kind of like, mm, okay. But that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good spook right there. Well, there we are, people. We made it through ghouls and goblins and and and, and ghosts. Uh, tomorrow, zombies. I need some zombie gifts. I don't have any so far for tomorrow. So feel free to send me as many zombie gifts as you would like. I know there's going to be a lot of them out there. Zombies. Yeah. So zombies is tomorrow. There's got to be a lot of those out there. So send me some zombie gifts. Corporate zombies? Sure. Any, whatever zombies means to you. I try to remember to throw some your ways. I have one in mind. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's a good one from Beaver. Yeah, zombies. And send me as many as you want. You don't have to send me just one, but send them to Tipsy in a, in a private message so he can share them for tomorrow. Well, thank you guys for being here. It was nice hanging out with you guys and having great conversations about pizza and pasta and cupcakes and all that good stuff and going through... Uh, the Dumbledore and the advice and all that stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for being here. It's always fun hanging out with you guys in the morning. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode. I missed most of it, but it was nice. But I missed most of you, Gordo. But you're always nice. See what I did there? Aww. 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 Well, thank you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. And I will catch you guys next time on Hello and Good Morning. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters who are producers of Hello and Good Morning on Mixer. If you would like to be a producer of the show, for $5 a month, you can be a producer of this show. Also, thank you to my executive producers, Adjective Beaver and Leecho, also known as Leecho for being executive producers across the entire channel and helping me create all kinds of creative things. And also to my moderators and creative team, who are awesome sauce people who will make sure that everything is peachy keen in front of the stream and behind the streams and on all sides of the stream and above the stream and below the stream and of the stream of the streams. And lastly but not leastly, if you're looking for a puppet, check out thepuppetforge.com. Uh, Mr. Gordon Smooter is a master puppet builder for uh, puppets for TV and theater and film. So if you have a design of your own or you're looking for inspiration, talk to Mr. Gordon Smooter because nothing is smoother than a fresh, hot Smooter. All right, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.